What's up guys? What up? Welcome back to our channel. Um, <laughs> how over me are you on a scale of 1 to 10? That over me. So, um, the other night, this guy earned the Medal of Honor and saved my life. And he officially has done his catly duties around our home. He's been a good kitty. Oh my God, you're so cute. Do you know how cute you are? So the other night, um, I actually got managed to go to bed at like 10 p.m. And I was like out, out, out. Like put on Moana, let it play to like mid movie when they were singing songs, had Christmas lights around my room, cozy, fresh blankets, that kind of like out kind of sleep and I wake up to my cat like playing with something like aggressively like loudly I heard loud little like pitter patter footsteps and I look over and he had something in his mouth that was like big like like bigger than a moth big because I've seen this I've seen him go to town on a moth before but like big big and <clears throat> Literally, I was like, oh my God. So I stood on top of my bed and pulled out my flashlight and was like looking at what it was and it was a freaking mouse. I know it's like winter and like, this is the season. Like they're just trying to run somewhere. Like you bought in Christmas decorations from the garage. Like you did that. No, like mouse. And I, I always thought like, you know, you hear girls like, oh my god, a mouse, like, jump on top of a table, like, oh my god, a mouse. Like, I always thought, like, I would never be that girl, like, oh, like, it's just a mouse. I'm not about to, like, run away from it. Like, I have a guinea pig, you're smaller. Like, no. I didn't realize I was scared of mice until I realized I was scared of mice. And my cat had one in its mouth in my bedroom, and I literally was like, no. All right, I have a cat. It's in my cat's mouth. I'm safe. I'm good to go. I'm good. And he was like playing around with it and I was like waiting for it to die. Like, kill it, kill it, Salem, kill it, you got this. He ended up putting, like he kept like setting it down to see if it was dead. <laughs> it was really morbid. And he set him down and that mouse said skirt and ran away. So then I'm like, I'm popping up like, <laughs> and um, I like texting my roommate, I'm like, dude. There's a mouse in my room. SOS. I don't know what to do. I've never dealt with this before. I don't know how to handle this. Like, help. So her and she woke up her grandpa and they're in town for Thanksgiving. So they come in here and he ran behind my mini fridge. So they're like moving furniture out, looking behind my mini fridge. I'm like on my like little stool with like my flashlight. Like, I'm helping, I swear. And then he runs out from the mini fridge past her grandma. She screams and like, she's like, <laughs> and then, um, runs behind my dresser again where he started and I was like oh. and I can't get back there I can't move that thing by myself with all my clothes in it it's so heavy so like I can't even like can't even like I can't move it so I'm like we can't go get him so we set mouse traps and set it by the dresser and like yeah a couple other places I'm like okay so if my cat doesn't catch him again the mouse trap will I'll get him eventually like it's fine and then my cat was like waiting by my dresser like waiting like to, in pounce position and um so then I'm like I can't go to sleep this is this is gonna be a whole ordeal tonight like I can't go to sleep until that mouse comes out and that cat catches it so I'm sitting on my bed like you know in the corner like all right you got this kitty go go kitty and um all of a sudden I see this little gray like shadow and I was like oh and my cat was like, and then the mouse, I don't know why, like, if you see a cat, like, go back to where you came from. But I don't think mice think that way. Anyway, so he tries to, I'm going to, I'm going to race past the cat and make it. I'm going to try to race past the cat. So he runs past my cat and my cat was like, bah, bah. I have videos of this. I'll put those in here.
Oh my god. Good boy, Salem. Good boy, Salem. Um, so then he has them in his mouth and he chased them around my room for like a good 30, 20, 30 minutes. It was awful. I'm like on my bed, like running all four corners, like following my cat, making sure he still has the mouse in his mouth. And he kept running under my bed and I'm like... <laughs> Kill him. Do not play with him. Kill him. I swear to the Lord. Please kill him. Salem, don't go under my bed. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, he's going to lose this mouse under my bed and then I'm really not going to be able to sleep. So like I kept freaking out yelling at my cat like, stop going under my bed. Stop going under there. God, stop it. And then he finally... Like, did the thing where he set him down to see if he was dead? And he didn't go anywhere. <laughs> he, like, plopped him gently. And then he, like, let go slowly. And the mouse was just like... And so then he knew... I think he knew he was dead. I knew he was dead. And I'm like, cool, give him to me. Let me throw him away. Now he puts him back in his mouth and proceeds to run around my room for another 30 minutes with a dead mouse that I knew was dead and was trying to keep track of because I don't need you, like, setting him somewhere. And then there just being a dead mouse in my room. So I'm following my cat around with a trash bag on my hand, like, please give him to me. Please drop him. Please, can I have him? Please, please let go. Salem, what are you doing? Oh, he's just, oh, oh my God. Please stop batting him around like that. That's disgusting, buddy. Oh my God. I think I'm pretty sure that one's, that's dead. Please let me have it. Salem, no. You're gonna get, oh, you're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, I can tell. Oh, God. Salem! Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick it up, all right? I'm gonna have to freaking pick it up. Oh, my God, I'm gonna have to pick it up. Breathe in, breathe out. Uh. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, I'm gonna get in. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. And then the worst part was that I had to pick the mouse up with the trash bag hand. And I don't care, you put a trash bag over your hand, like, yeah, you can't touch it, but like, you can feel exactly what it feels like. Does that make sense? Like, I could feel how gross it was. <sighs> I'm traumatized. So then I had to take the thing outside and throw it away. I'm scarred. I still have all the mouse traps set because. And they would have been they would have been caught by now, right? Anyway, so I'm still in a state of mind where I'm afraid there might be a mouse in my room. I have PTSD. There's major trauma there. I don't know that I'll ever sleep the same. I'm always gonna think there's a mouse. If he starts jumping on something or playing with a toy in the middle of the night, I'm gonna be like, literally, it was a lot for me. So I'll insert all the clips that I took of that night because there was a lot of video recording of my cat chasing his mouse um thrilled about how long it took you i'm not thrilled that i had to chase you around for it but good boy you caught the mouse good baby that's a good boy good boy salem that's a good boy yeah my hero so anyway, if you liked this video, like it and let me know how you feel about mice and if you've ever had one in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for listening to this ridiculous story. Where you at? Come here.